Welcome education leaders to our Today's Educators show, I am Becca Dono. And here is my co-host Nelly Cardinali. Hello everyone, I am glad to be here. Oh, Dr. McCarthy, I did not see you there. Welcome to our show. Our topic today is on information communication technology and teachers' readiness in elementary schools. Becca, could you tell us what is bothering you today? Nelly, thanks for asking. A group of our teachers at my school district recently received touchpad devices and are now expected to integrate them into our teaching and curriculum. So, what seems to be the problem? I thought that technology can provide students with expanded learning opportunities and discovery and creativity skills. Also, some research has shown it can make a positive change in mathematics and science education. Tell me and our audiences. Well, the schools are facing few challenges in the deployment of touchpad technology to our teachers. Some teachers are resisting the change. We believe this is due to their limited prior knowledge and experience with the equipment and software. Additionally, we are unsure about emotional readiness and their perception of such technology, for example, ease of use, perceived usefulness, availability, and dependability. Becca, now I think I know what you are referring to. This is a tough one. It seems you are facing both tensions in new technology introduction and teachers' autonomy and control. Yes, Nelly. To make the matter worse, our curriculum is somewhat inflexible to be integrated with the new equipment and software the district have purchased for our schools. What are your thoughts on possible solutions? I am glad you asked. We have here in the audiences a group of doctoral students from Northeastern University. They are here to help us understand the issue and evaluate some solutions that have worked well in other schools. But before we start the discussion, I also want to introduce our team members Agar Kokek and David Narong in the audiences. They will help us facilitate the teaching case study today. Let's give them a big round of applause. Agar and David, welcome. Agar and David, nice to see you too and welcome. The teaching case study exercise today will involve three of many possible solutions or combinations of solutions in school districts across the U.S. This includes Case 1 Technology-Related Professional Development Case 2 Technology Teacher User Group and Case 3 Student Teaching Teacher Technology Nelly. I am familiar with cases 1 and 2. Can you elaborate a little bit about the last case? Definitely, I have just the right material to show you. David, could you bring up the interview video on the student teaching teacher technology project at Robert G. Cole High? While we are waiting for the video, Ugar can help us set up three groups for the teaching case study exercise. Welcome back. What we will do next is the teaching case study exercise. You should have now received the instruction on how to proceed. You will spend the next 10 minutes reviewing the case study and develop and present a briefing to the class regarding the option given to you. Thank you and welcome back to the show. As we are approaching the end of today's segment, Nelly and I would like to conclude the show by summarizing the issue and our recommend a possible solution or combination of solutions as a result of our discussion today. Nelly, would you like to share what you have found? I will be happy to. Based on a research by Afshari et al. 
The study states that information communication technology has complicated the teaching learning process and that initial and ongoing professional development must be provided to teachers. This is to ensure that information communication technology can be integrated into their teaching learning processes timely, efficiently and cost-effectively. Of course, this can take time. And teachers cannot do this alone. They will need the district and school support and resources required to integrate the equipment and software into the curriculum. I could not agree more. In addition, per Schlager and Schenk, we can supplement the professional development with the technology teacher user group program. This program can be a solution for increasing teachers' information communication technology use. Yet, another study by Huskasi et al. stated student teaching teacher technology can be an effective way to increasing the use of technology. However, I believe without the initial and ongoing professional development, the deployment of the touchpad devices cannot be successful. Thanks, Nelly, for sharing your insight. Here you have it for the show. Please stay tuned for a brief question and answer session. We will see you in our next Today's Educators show. Until next time, thank you education leaders. Hope to see you next summer. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So long.